hello guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be doing a coconut mukbang i never heard about the concept of mukbang until i joined the cast of youtube <laughs> Apparently, mukbangs are such a big thing uh, on YouTube because um, when I look left, right, center, I was just finding all these people, all these videos with, with big labels on them. Um, rice and stew mukbang, jollof rice mukbang, um, fried rice mukbang, um, salad mukbang, watermelon mukbang. And I'm thinking to myself, what on earth? Is a mukbang what is a mukbang so uh, today I'm going to be doing a coconut mukbang uh, if you haven't heard of the concept of mukbangs before sit back and watch and maybe you tell me more about it in the comments <laughs> So this is my coconut. When I first started to do YouTube, I found it so weird. I found it so absurd. <laughs> the whole idea of a mukbang. I could never get my head around it. You know? How can you just, um, how can somebody just come to the internet and put up a video? And all they do in that video is um, put a heap of, rice in front of them or a heap of um, um, fufu and soup in front of them pounded yam and a goosey soup in front of them and begin to um, bring down that mountain and that's all they do for that video I could never get my head around it and um, but I was I was so wrong because um as usual with myself when I don't understand things I start asking questions I googled I looked left and looked right and asked a few people and they then made me to understand that in some parts of the world some people struggle uh, finding someone to eat with yeah and not just in some parts of the world in a lot of in, in most parts of the world some people do not have like a family where they have brothers or sisters or even friends or anybody to eat with so a mukbang gives people the opportunity to have a chit chat with somebody whilst they are eating so for example now as i'm eating this coconut and talking to you you can go and oh she's doing a mukbang you can go and grab your own plate of food and sit down and maybe have your snack or whatever you want to have and sit down and as i'm talking you're listening to me and you're eating as well and both of us are eating together and catching up yes <laughs> so i was wrong i was wrong in my assumptions that is why you should never assume things. You should never assume that people are crazy for the things that they do until you find out exactly why they do the things they do. Yeah? Mm. That's my video. This coconut pop bang. <laughs> So because I have a combination audience, some of my viewers are British people, people who live in Europe, who have British accents, and some of my, vi my viewers are Nigerian people and West African people who live in West Africa or in Africa or other parts of the world. So you're going to be hearing me saying that word in two different ways, so pardon me. Sometimes I'm going to say coconuts and other times i'm going to say coconuts so please pardon me <laughs> so let's answer that question shall we what is a mukbang what is a mukbang a mukbang oh i need to answer this the way you know when we memorize things and we're like photosynthesis is the process whereby that's the way i want to give you this definition of a mukbang a mukbang is a it's a youtube trend which started in the year 2010 and it comes from south korea and you have a youtuber who is interacting 
with the audience and maybe narrating some kind of storyline and then eating loads of food at the same time so that's what a mukbang is now you know what a mukbang is are you going to say thank you to me for teaching you something new today yeah you can't say you wasted your 10 minutes you can't say you wasted your 10 minutes on this video at least you now know what a mukbang is even though you've been watching it this whole time without actually knowing what it means and where it comes from now you know what it means so thank you gladys thank you Yes. Are you just watching? Have you liked this video? Hit the like button. <laughs> Have you subscribed? Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment. Tell me how you feel about what I've said. I, I don't expect you to agree with everything I've said. Of course, I, I'm open to... Um, you can definitely tell me a different opinion. If you think I'm wrong or if you think I'm, I've had... I have that. I have those from time to time. People that come up and say, You are wrong. <laughs> you got this wrong. I love you all. I love the whole shebang. So that makes it even better. Yeah, a different opinion from time to time. Thank you all. Yeah. <laughs> so this is some coconut thing that we got from Costco. It says uh, genuine coconuts. I just love how they've like scraped all the skin off it and make it look so fancy. And it printed that 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 name on it. Yeah. I think it came with like a stick. Like a stick and this straw so you're supposed to like use the stick to like you know these three holes that are usually in a coconut one of them is breakable it's one of them is something is like hole that you can easily get used to gain access into the coconut water who likes coconut water <laughs> i used to queue up as a child i used to like oh mommy please now please 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 now, let me drink, let me drink. And when they give you that cup to drink it, you try and make sure you go up as much as... <laughs> and be as selfish as you can. Don't remember the rest of the gang. Okay, I think I've lost the stick. There was... Um, there were two coconuts in, in one pack. And I, I had one the other day. Coconut is very fleshy. And the, the juice that comes out of it is very sweet. I don't mean the coconut water. I mean the coconut juice itself is very tasty. So yeah, I'm going to use this to help me. I have to find out which of, which one of them now is the one that gives me access into the coconut. So you have to just keep on trying them. Uh-huh, you see? So I think it's that one. And once it's open, once it's open, you can use the straw. Oh, that looks so nice, see? I've opened it. I'm going to use the straw now to drink that coconut water. Oh, so refreshing. Um, one day I got into the shop and I was going to buy some coconuts. And when I got to the till, I took the coconuts and got to the till. When I got to the till, the guy at the checkout was asking me, what do you do with the, how do you break the coconuts? I'm like, what? How can you be asking me how I break the coconut? Why are you asking me how I break the coconut? Because it's so hard and I don't know how to break it. I don't know how to gain entrance into the coconut. I always buy my coconut cleaned and prepped. I never buy the full coconut. <laughs> Anyways, I usually use a hammer or I have this like, um, I have this mortar and pistol that is made out of granite, I use that. Or I take it into my garden and break it on my um, pavement. Yes. So those are the ways that I break my coconut. Oh, <laughs> how do you break your coconut? Let me know in the comment section how you break your coconut. And of course, if you live in Nigeria, <laughs> The whole coconut process is like, you know, you get the full fruit with all the, you know, now this is already, this is processed. If you were living in West Africa, this is processed. You get the full fruit and you break it open with a knife before you get to this part. And then when you get to this part, 
you then get the juice out you know you open it with something and turn it over into a cup and get all that juice out and get the children to queue up and put little drops in their mouths <laughs> and they'll be like oh please now what do you know oh, you finished it remain now don't finish it yes so how do you break your coconuts how do you gain how do you gain entry into the coconut guys I know you found it very interesting. Let me let me say it in my French accent. Interesting. <laughs> I know you found this video very interesting because you um you I, I'm sure when you go shopping this week you're going to grab you're going to grab a coconut to come back home and have a sip and enjoy some coconut water and re and 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 um eat that um, juicy fruit yeah and maybe even make coconut oil from it or maybe even make coconut cream from it yeah but i know that you really really found it enjoyable interesting fun but every good thing has to come to an end so therefore this is where i'm going to end this video so thank you so much for watching thank you so much to all of you who always come down to watch um i do appreciate all your love and your support um yes um <laughs> don't forget to don't forget to um hit that like button and hit the notification bell if you don't have it on and let me know what you how you um, like to have your coconuts what do you have with your coconuts in nigeria where i come from people have it with um there's the the flour thing that we make into fufu people have it with garis called gari people have it with gari soaps uh, people have it with corn maize like roasted corn roasted maize and uh, what else do people have coconut with i don't know what do you have coconut with let me know in the comment section and of course what do you feel about mock bangs is it an idea that you embraced from the start when you first saw it or were you like me who just joined the bandwagon or is this your first time of hearing about a mock bang you can let me know what you what you feel about a mock bang in the comment section yeah thank you for watching i shall see you in the next one Bye.